By now, you're probably beginning to hone your e-learning development skills, and you're working to polish the process of developing instruction. It's likely you are also seeking ways to enhance and further extend the skills of your students. Storyboards have been a well-known staple in the film industry for decades. The storyboard process is at the heart of wonderful storytelling and visual design. You can use the process of teaching your students to use storyboards for storytelling and design to meet ISTE standards. In using storyboards, your students will be better prepared to be innovative designers and creative communicators. Let's take a few minutes to look at storyboards. What is a storyboard anyway? It can be considered a pre-direction for a movie, a sequence of events, or a series of instruction. Storyboards are less concerned with style and more focused on continuity from scene to scene, step to step, or instruction to instruction. Storyboards can also help serve to manage resources. Storyboards are in fact a means to an end. They are tools for moving from one place to the next. There are no hard and fast rules as to what storyboards are and what they must be. People create storyboards for all sorts of things, including movies, advertising, animation, computer games, websites, and instruction. For our course, we'll want to think of storyboards in two ways. First, we ourselves will want to become familiar with the process and techniques of developing storyboards. Our own experience with this art form will help us to meet our second goal, teaching students to use storyboards and become innovative designers and creative communicators. If we look to categorize storyboarding and the technologies that support storyboarding for teaching learners, we can use the McCrell strategies. I would suggest storyboarding technologies fit nicely into the McCrell categories of organizing and brainstorming software and instructional media or learner as consumer. When we think of teachers, lesson planning, and instruction, we can think of storyboards as plans for teaching and learning activities. They can be combinations of outlines, visual sketches, flowcharts, and other resources that map out the contents or sequence of ideas. Creating storyboards is overlooked in the digital storytelling process. For many students and teachers alike, storyboarding is often thought of as an extra and unnecessary step. With deliberate execution, storyboarding can be a valued element in the creative process. It helps the teacher or student to organize images and text in a blueprint fashion before the development begins. It allows the student to visualize how the project will be put together and helps identify what gaps and holes may be in the project. Storyboarding can also inspire new ideas, allowing the developer to rearrange existing resources before the final development begins when changes may be harder to make. The important thing about storyboards is that they give you a way to decide how you will split up the individual pieces of your project so you can get a clearer view of your digital story plan. There are no hard and fast rules or templates that must be used when creating storyboards. Some people use post-it notes or index cards, which lend themselves to easy shuffling. Others use templates with empty consecutive frames to allow the developer to write or draw simple diagrams within the boxes. Still others use sophisticated storyboard software to create the plan. Let's look at some of the different templates and tools people use to create storyboards. Here are some examples. As you begin your own process of storyboarding, think of things such as what do you want your students to learn by the end of the instruction? What content is essential and must be included? What is optional? Additionally, what are the learning activities you want to include to help students learn? And what is the best sequence of learning activities? And when you think of your students, 
Create lessons and assignments to encourage your students to use storyboards to be innovative designers and creative communicators.